Okay, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some random zombie while he was glowing to a vampire gnoll. That would have been cool, too. Just just out of nowhere. Just some random no-name zombie. <laughs> that would have been funny. Um, no, nah, so... No. Oh, um, it was really fun. Uh, some people were kind of poo-pooing on the game taking a more action-oriented bent than uh, Resident Evil 2 had with the dodging mechanics and all and the boss fights and whatnot. Um, but... Excuse me. Sorry. I actually... Um, I actually really like that. I don't mind the, the action-oriented Resident Evils that much just because they're action-oriented. Like, Resident Evil 4 is really good. Uh, the cutscene quick-time events were stupid, but um, they're better than with the end of this where it's just pull it, you know, it doesn't matter where you aim, just pull the trigger at some point and the cutscene will play. Um, yeah, 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 Woofer. Um, it's kind of disappointing. It should have just been DLC. It should have been like a $30 DLC for Resident Evil 2. Um, I didn't mind the boss fights until the last two. The last two in Nemesis. The, the, the one in the acid pool and the very last one. Which were really... It was really bad. Uh, the one in the acid pool was bad because, as Carl mentioned... And as I kind of complained about, it's bad game design to put bright red glowing lights in your arena that you can't use yet. Like, don't make them glow bright red until they're usable. and Because uh, uh, you're just going to confuse the player thinking that they need to shoot those bright red things when that's not the case. Um, especially if they have any, any knowledge about the first Resident Evil 3. Uh, they'll have in their mind instantly, oh, in Resident Evil 3... I had to hit these levers, and when I hit the levers, acid would pour on Nemesis, and that would kill him. And that's how you do that boss fight. So they're going to instantly think that. So if you give that, that to them immediately, like, ooh, look, bright red lights, they're going to do what I did, and they think they're just doing something wrong, when it's just that they're not supposed to be doing that yet. Um, and him running on the walls was fine, I guess. Um, they did that a little bit in Resident Evil 2 as well. Um... And the last boss fight, I just feel wrong. It feels wrong that the best weapon to kill the last nemesis was a handgun. That just feels wrong to me. It feels weird. It should have been like Magnum, Grenade Launcher, all that stuff. Like high caliber weaponry. Not not like the weakest gun in the game. It's very, very weird to me. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't like it. Um... Yeah, I'm with you on that one, Wolfer. I, I agree with that. Uh, the Resident Evil 2 remake, to me, was way... Was, like, just leaps and bounds over the, the original Resident Evil 2. Um, but this one, I think Resident Evil 3, the original, was actually a better game. Uh, all the random events were way... With, I miss that this game didn't have random events. Um, where the nemesis just showed up at random. Uh, that was sucky. I didn't like that at all. Um... And the choices of the system. Um, you know, in the original Resident Evil 3, there would be all these like little events where you got to pick uh, which action should you take to get out of the situation. Um, I would have liked to have seen them done that. Not necessarily with the, let's pause the game and you pick an option, but rather the game showing you, you can do these, this, 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 and this. Uh, pick which one you want to do, and then letting you go and do it. Um, I, I would have liked that. A lot. I like that a lot. But, um, they didn't do it. So, um, yeah. It's fine. It's a fine game. It's okay. Like, the game's not crap. It's a very competent and well put together game. It's just, um,. It's just here, I guess. <laughs> if it, I would, I would recommend uh, waiting until it's on sale to buy it. Yeah, the, the drain demos. Um, I expect there to be more drain demos, honestly. Yeah, yeah, darkness. Yeah, um, and that's what they said from a design's perspective was they wanted the game to be more action oriented. Um, 
And I want to say there, there were people who reviewed this game and said that it was way scarier than the Resident Evil 2 remake at parts and that is bullshit i was never scared at one point in this game like there were a few jump scares moments that were like oh shit like where i got startled but like i was never like man this is creepy yeah there, there weren't really puzzles either there was the 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 callback to finding the gemstones for that circular thing that gave you a bunch of loot every time you put a gem in at the subway station um but yeah, yeah, there wasn't really, there wasn't really things. Yeah, I, I do wonder about that woofer, about the, 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 the bonus weapon parts things for as far as beating Nemesis goes. Because Carl said he was fine, he was unlocking things by beating Nemesis. But I beat Nemesis once and all I got was shotgun shells. So I don't know if that's a hardcore thing or, or what. I'm not sure. But yeah, um, I would say unless, so I guess end of the end of the day, if you're not just super hardcore Resident Evil person, uh, this game is not worth sixty dollars. <laughs> um, I don't care if it's packaged for that stupid multiplayer game. I'm never gonna play that multiplayer game. Uh, that Mastermind or whatever the hell it's called. I'm never gonna play that. Does it, Carl? Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 just, I prefer just running past him. You don't need the... Like, did I need did I need a super secret super weapon in this game at any point? Like... After I found out mechanics to, bo to the boss, like, it was super easy. Even on hardcore, this game is easy as shit. So... <laughs> I mean <laughs> there's two more there's two more difficulty levels above this one to be fair so um it's got that going for it I guess yeah well for getting on sale I think it would be fine like I said if this was 30 bucks I'd feel a lot better about it She found a new apartment. Isn't that great? Really, Carl? That sucks. I forgot what you get for the Resident... I forgot what you got in the Resident... Original Resident Evil 3 for doing it. I think it's a kind of magnum that you got. Let's see, so... 623? Yeah, that's not much higher than a lot of people were on. Um... Rank C, 37 deaths. Is that... Is that what, what we were on? Did we miss one? We missed one. I guess. I don't know how we missed one. Yeah, go ahead and tick me up there. 37. There you go. <laughs> Fixed it. <laughs> Awesome. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's fair. It's a... It's fine. It's a fine... It's a, it's okay game. Which is sad to say, I guess, because after I said... After I beat uh, Resident Evil 2, I was like, holy shit, that was a great game. 